One of the most amazing facts about SpaceX is that Elon Musk is making Raptor rockets at the rate of about one every 48 hours. This is exciting to know, right? Let us talk today about Raptor engines. If you are new to our channel, we encourage you to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update from the world of SpaceX. Elon Musk, CEO of SpaceX, stated on Saturday that his company is capable of producing a Raptor rocket engine every 48 hours. Musk stated on Twitter, Raptor manufacturing is reaching one per 48 hours. The interplanetary transport engines unveiled in 2016 and capable of producing 500,000 pounds of thrust are critical to SpaceX's plans to assist NASA in returning to the moon and ultimately to Mars. The crazy power of the Raptor is planned to power SpaceX's Starship, which will be the next lunar lander. NASA selected SpaceX as its lone partner for the Artemis lunar mission in April. Musk stated in another tweet on Saturday that SpaceX Starship vehicle will be powered in its booster stage by 29 Raptor engines. This will increase to 32 later this year, as well as an increased thrust per engine. The long-term goal is more than 7,500 tons of thrust. On Sunday, SpaceX completed the stacking of Booster 4, the first of its super-heavy rocket boosters to take flight. This is gigantic, single-core rocket that stands over 70 meters tall and has 9-meter diameter. It has roughly twice the thrust of the Saturn V rocket, which launched NASA humans to the moon. SpaceX is also nearing completion of Ship 20, the most recent Starship upper stage prototype that will be mounted on top of Booster 4 for a full stack launch of the Starship system. While SpaceX has made significant progress in hardware, the company's regulatory progress remains hazy. The quick development of Starship, its super heavy launcher, and the orbital launch complex in South Texas looks to be setting up yet another high stakes battle between the FAA and SpaceX. The business will be ready to fly, but there is no word on when the Federal Aviation Administration will complete its environmental evaluation of the star base location and allow orbital launches from the site. SpaceX has apparently been staffing up in South Texas, bringing hundreds of people in front of its California headquarters and abroad to finish assembling Booster 4 and the launch site facilities. It appears to be a concerted effort to persuade the FAA to expedite the regulation procedure. The aesthetics of a finished rocket, by far the largest and most powerful in the world, sitting on a launch platform, waiting for the paperwork, are not appealing. SpaceX may find partners elsewhere in the US government, now that NASA and the US Department of Defense have a vested interest in Starship's success. Elon Musk's idea to inhabit Mars is, to put it mildly, ambitious. To reach its objectives, SpaceX had to reinvent existing technology while inventing new ones. This is where the Raptor engine comes in. These methane-powered powerhouses might fuel Elon Musk's plans to reach Mars by 2024 on their own. Musk's hint that 33 engines may eventually be put on Super Heavy is a change from comments made by the CEO less than a month ago when he revealed a basic increase from 28 to 29 engines, with the possibility of growing to 32 later on. Also new is the indication that SpaceX is considering adding three extra vacuum-optimized engines to SpaceX's six planned Raptors, leaving ships with six Raptor vacuum RVAC engines and three sea-level optimized engines, the same kind as Super Heavy. Musk adds that SpaceX is yet to decide if Raptor vacuum vacuum will be combined with Raptor 2, increasing thrust, or if higher efficiency would be targeted. Regardless, even with six 200-ton thrust RVACs and three Raptor 2s, Starship could create up to 2,000 tons of force in a vacuum, resulting in an upper stage with nearly as much push as Falcon Heavy and a fully fueled thrust. The bigger question is, what is so special about the Raptor engine? 
Raptor is a family of full-flow staged combustion cycle rocket engines developed and manufactured by SpaceX for use on the Starship fully reusable launch vehicle, which is currently in development. The engine is fueled by cryogenic liquid methane and liquid oxygen, LOX, dubbed Methalox, as opposed to the RP-1 kerosene and LOX, dubbed Kerolox, used in SpaceX's previous Merlin and Kestrel rocket engines. Raptor will be used in both stages of the two-stage to orbit. Super Heavy Lift Starship System Launch Vehicle, which will replace the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. Starship will be utilized for a variety of purposes, including Earth orbit satellite deliveries, the deployment of a substantial chunk of SpaceX's own Starlink mega constellation, and Mars exploration and colonization. In July 2019, the Raptor engine became the first full-flow staged combustion engine to fly in the Starhopper test vehicle. Raptor holds the record for the highest combustion chamber pressure ever reached by an operational rocket engine at 330 bar, 4,800 psi, as of August 2020, exceeding the RD-701 rocket engine's record of 300 bar, 4,400 psi. The Raptor engine is fueled by subcooled liquid methane and subcooled liquid oxygen in a full flow staged combustion cycle. A departure from the present Merlin's engine, simpler open cycle gas generator system, and LOX kerosene propellants. The RS 25 space shuttle engine, as well as numerous Russian rocket engines, such as the RD 180 and the RD 191, featured a staged combustion cycle. During the period of 2012 to 2017, the stated design size for the Raptor engine evolved greatly from an early high objective of 8,200 kN of vacuum thrust to a significantly lower publicly discussed target of 1,900 kN by late 2017. The Raptor engine is designed to employ deep cryogenic propellant fluids that have been frozen to nearby freezing temperatures, rather than cryopropellants that have been cooled to near boiling points, as is more common in cryogenic rocket engines. Subcooled propellants enhance propellant density, allowing for more propellant mass to be stored within the vehicle's tanks. The engine's performance is also improved. Because of the larger propellant fuel mass flow rate per unit of power generated, specific impulse is raised and the risk of cavitation and turbo pumps inputs is minimized. To admit propellants to the combustion chamber, the Raptor engine employs a huge number of coaxial swirl injectors, as opposed to the pintle injectors utilized on prior Merlin engines, mass-produced by SpaceX for their Falcon series of launch vehicles. That was our information-packed video on Raptor engines. We hope you liked it. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more updates. Stay blessed.